It's your boy, Young Man B, aka Bryce, back with more Pokemon Sword and Shield. But today we're doing something a little bit different. We're kind of starting a new series, and that is a series where I use your rental codes, alright? So if you want to participate, holy cow. That was terrifying. A bird just like flew into the window. I'm like freaked out. Are they coming for us? Anyway. Oh. Whew. God, that scared my cat and it scared me. Okay, okay. This is a team. It's a rental code. Um, if you want to submit your rental codes, I don't know what I'm going to edit out. If you want to submit your rental codes to me so I use your team on a video, leave them, leave your rental codes in the comment section. So, yeah. So if you want to do that and then I'll, I'll browse through them. Also on your comment, if you want to say preferably your six Pokemon or say what's cool about the team, basically say something... Um, interesting, so I am more inclined to use your team, right? Um, but yeah, this is a team by my boy Steven. Um, Steven, he actually helped, he actually traded me a shiny Heliolus, which is actually really cool. Um, but he actually made this team, he was inspired to make this team by my Heliolus team. So we got another Heliolus team, baby. But his team is really cool because it's got the G Max Sandoconda, um, which is really cool. But other than that, his team looks pretty solid. So let's go ahead and boot it up and <laughs> we're pretty high ranked on the ladder so this will be very interesting rank 1004 so yeah we're, we're gonna test your team steven against some of the best some of the best of the best okay we'll see what we're up against rank 2418 delta rex all right okay we got a rain team Ooh. um that could cause troubles i think we're sandvale check summary we are Sandville, and we're shiny, yay! Oh, we have ally switch, okay, okay, okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know if the Sandaconda's good here, I feel like... Ugh. I feel like everyone's bad against... I feel like everyone's bad against his, his max. Oh, this is Expert Belt? I thought this was Focus Ash. <laughs> Whoops. Let's see. Oh, it is G-Max, nice. Oh, it's got energy ball. This could be good. This could be low key good. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna do Gengar because he's not gonna see energy ball coming, and we'll do Togekiss. So we have something to protect Gengar from ground attacks. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay. Um. Now, who do we want in the back? Um, Pass Simeon, maybe. I guess. Sure. And then what? Heliolus? I mean, you can never go wrong bringing the Heliolus, right? I mean, that's that's my rule. But we have the Sandaconda as well. Yeah, this is an interesting team. Ah, <laughs> this is I'm 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 going against two teams that I'm unfamiliar with. Usually, if it's just one, it's it's easier for me. But still hard. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. Anyway, make sure to leave me your rental codes so I can use it for another. I don't even know what I'm going to call this. So he leads with this abomination. The abominable abomination. Um. Whoo! Not exactly sure what to do. Can I protect? I can trick room. <laughs> Make a max guard. Um. I'm not quite sure exactly what I want to do, to be quite honest. I might want to max ooze. But then I feel like this Darmanitan just kills my whole team. Yeah, hold on, I got it, I got it, we'll max ooze. Max ooze on the kiss, and we'll follow me. Oh, we have ally switch too, okay. Yeah, we'll follow me. We have yawn, Oh, okay. Alright, let's see what we do. If he goes for an ice attack, then he's gonna kill me. If he goes for an earthquake, then I just cry. Wait, he has togekiss? Oh god, he's gonna go for earthquake, isn't he? Oh god, I can't even see it. Oh my god, it grows in from the ground. Look how cool it looks shiny. Oh my goodness. That's cool. I've never seen shiny G-Max Gengar. Wow, it's got no health. I don't even know if this has candies. Oh, he's Dynamaxing something. It's likely Togekiss, right? Yeah, we might we might just get we might just get slaughtered here. I want for max ooze on it, but ah. Uh, this might be really bad. If he goes for Earthquake. It's over. But we're expert belt. We should be doing a little bit more with Max Ooze. Okay, we go for Follow Me. I just realized if he goes for Earthquake, we're in trouble. Hopefully he doesn't. Ice Punch. Whew! 
We actually eat that. Holy cow. Alright, here comes the ooze. So now he can't attack us with that. Oh yeah, big damage, big damage. Now if he doesn't go for max airstream, we're in a good position. But if he max airstreams, we're much in trouble. He does max airstream. Okay. Um, well, we can't get a trick room up now because I already went for it. But I can go into... I can go into Heliolisk or Passimian. No, no, Heliolisk. We'll try to be annoying here. Okay, we got the shiny Lisk in. We're gonna max guard, hoping he attacks. Max guard. Discharge, ugh. Yeah, we're just gonna discharge. YOLO. What are the Aussie's weakness policy, right? Yeah, this this could go bad. This could go badly. Goes for Ice Punch. Wow, he actually goes for it on that slot. <clears throat> but we got the Focus Ash. You max air streams. Good. You max air streams. The that's what we needed. We needed to get this discharge off essentially. Bing. Okay. Big damage. Any paralyzes? Oh, no paralyzes. All right. So I guess we'll ooze. Where do we tear? We'll tear on Terminatan. I don't know. Something will happen. Um. All right. I don't know if allies which is going to help me, but this might be the time to click it. Well, I'm going to click it. Does 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 Gengar really have that low health? Here we go. I have no idea if this is going to help me or not. He goes for Ice Punch. Okay. That's good. That's good. Max Airstream. Oh, big damage. Oh. So, ah, uh, we're just good. Let's calculate what's happened. He's killed two of my Pokemon, I've killed one of his. He's also got very fast thing. That, that looked like it wanted to live. It obviously wasn't going to. Togekiss can't switch out though, so that's pretty cool. We have passive in. I can no longer protect, so I pretty much just lose. But we'll see. Yeah, to Dynamax Togekiss was an issue. Mainly because going for max no skill means I can't really do anything about it. Because it's just faster. Alright. Pelipper is also really bad, but we'll try to kill that Pelipper, even though it's probably Focus Ash. Actually, I have Faint. I do have Faint. What's Togekiss at? Togekiss is probably not in Faint range, but we can go for it, that's for sure. We're gonna go for it, because we got nothing to lose. And then I guess we'll go for a Sludge Bomb so we can potentially get a Poison on the Pelipper. Faint. Come on, Faint! I don't know if this kills. <laughs> it didn't kill. That was my best chance of winning. Oh, maybe not. I, I might be able to live a gleam. Just kidding. Super soup. Yes. Got a crit. All right. Well, that was game one. <laughs> What's the point of going for Tailwind? Max Airstream. Max Airstream. Max Airstream. Max Airstream. Tailwind. You're already faster than everyone. If you get Trick Room, you'd probably just lose. All right. Game one. That was tough. I ran into Togekiss. And Darmanitan. I couldn't deal with both. I could only deal with one. That's tough. That's toughness. Alright, continue battling. Let's do one more. Bing! Alright. Maybe the problem was we had the hop theme. We need the hop two theme. Because after you hop once, you hop twice. Okay, a Lapras team. Great. So Lapras is actually dealable with with a Pokemon I like to call Heliolus. So is it the Sandaconda time? It might be the Sandaconda time. 
All right, let's try it. There's no reason not to try it, right? All right, we'll leave with that. Fu in the back. I think Passimian in the back, but I could be... Could be wrong. Um, I feel like Gengar in the back seems really good. I want that ghost. Wait, Toki guess we'd be really good too. We're 108 speed. Uh, let's switch Yawn, the works. Let's do that. Did it have Dazzling Gleam? If it didn't have Dazzling Gleam, then I don't want it. It has Dazzling Gleam. Okay. I want these four. Alright. They're obviously going to be using Lapras based on their team. The only thing about this Pokemon is... Yeah. I hope he doesn't lead Lapras and Incineroar. Well, we may have lost. I don't think Helios has Protect. <sighs> and Sandicon's attack goes down, so that's like literally the worst lead. I just want to see Helios smooth. Oop, that's not how you do that. I don't have Protect. <sighs> Alright. So I'm gonna max guard. I guess I can just protect. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't do anything. <laughs> like that lead just beats me. The only way to stop Lapras is electrifying it and fake out stuff that. I could have max guarded and hope he attacked my slot, my left slot, but he's probably not going to do that. He's probably just going to attack the Heliolisk slot. So going for protect was probably worthless. Like, I just lost a free attack. Yep. Boop! I only did 90% of my health with a crit. Wow, he actually attacked the Sandaconda. Alright, so I didn't go for max guard and it may have cost me. But, we'll see what we can do. I did get the sand up. So I got the sand veil. So now I can dodge attacks. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's do it. Max Rockfall or Sand Blast? We'll do Sand Blast. Fight. Electrify. Now we can electrify. His lappers might still go for my Sandaconda anyway. That'd be cool if this thing was weakness policy, because it can take hits. Maybe surf weakness policy? I don't know. Alright, we're minus one. I'm sure this will go very well. Minus one, we've also lost half our health. I'm sure we'll be fine. Here's Electrify, at least we don't have to worry about Lapras. The best thing is he won't be able to switch Incinera out here unless he goes for a Parting Shot, so... Yeah, that did a lot. That did some damage. Do what he goes for. Flare Blitz, dodge. Oh, I didn't dodge it. Oh. That's unfortunate. Flappers hasn't gone yet, right? Max Lightning! Bing! Take Sand damage. Take Sand Snooze damage. That did a lot. Doesn't have Berry? That's cool. It, has to, it can't switch out now. As long as I'm faster than it, which I am. Um, either one of these is bad, but we can Yawn the Lapras. Because can't switch out. We're gonna take an ice attack though, that's for sure. Hmm. I don't know if any one of these particular does any more than the other, so I guess we'll sandblast and yawn. Yeah. 
because he can't switch out, so his, his, he'll have to go to sleep, which is cool. What? His Incineroar is faster than me? Oh my god, how slow is this thing? <laughs> how slow is Sandaconda to be slower than Incineroar? I thought it was more than negative 12 speed, holy cow. I'm pretty sure I went faster than him last turn. At least he has to take this with Roserade. And now he's trapped in with Roserade. Here's a Sandblast, boom! Wow, talk about damage right there. He goes for Resonance. Just take my Sandaconda out of existence, darn it. Oh. All right. Yeah, eat that, eat that damage. All right. Oh, that's some good damage. We will want, we want our Sandaconda to stay in, because I think we lose the effect if we switch out. So we're gonna max guard, I think. Yeah. Max guard. Boop. And we'll try to go for a dazzling gleam. We want Togekiss to die essentially at the end of this turn. Okay, Big Sand goes for thing. He goes for Leaf Storm, bink, into the Protect. That's good. Take more sand damage, and then we Dazzling Gleam. He should be falling asleep and taking a lot of damage at the end of this turn. He goes for Freeze Dry. That's fine, we wanted it to die. He fell for my plan. <laughs> okay. Rosary takes Sand. Lapras takes sand. It takes the blast. Barely lives, but we can kill it next turn. Barely. Now she falls asleep. Boop. Nice. Okay. We're doing okay. We might have a chance. I couldn't tell you if we do have a chance, but we might have a chance. We do have a Gengar. God, Gengar just has 12 total health. All right, Sandaconda, this is your moment. Rock Slide's super effective, but high horsepower is more consistent. Oh, and Shadow Ball. No, we go for Sludge Bomb just in case. Uh, no, he can't even switch out. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Eat the Sludge Bomb. Okay. Here comes a rock slide. It's fine. We didn't want to hit anyway. We can kill it next turn. Sandstorm's gone, but I do have sand spit if he does attack me. Yeah, eat that sand damage. That's really good damage. Alright. Four veil wore off too, okay. Now we can do even more damage. Hmm. Oh god, he's got a conk. Alright. See what we can do about that. I guess we ignore. How, okay, how slow are you, my Sandaconda? 91. Wow, that Incineroar is fast. That is one fast Incineroar. Alright, we'll, we'll Rock Slide flinch it. And if we don't Rock Slide flinch it, we'll Shadow Ball it. And we're gonna hope the Lapras just dies to Rock Slide. Okay, Shadow Ball. Um, some damage. Rock slide, we do hit. We need some flinches in the house. Like Cory in the house. We got a crit on the conk. I'll take that. He has weakness policy, so we're really hoping that thing doesn't wake up. Yes, we got the flinch! Oh my god. Our dreams. Our dreams are still alive. No, he was freed from the sand. Alright, I think. We rock slide again. Sludge, any stronger than Shadow Ball? It is a little bit stronger. We'll go for it. Sludge Bomb? I'm hoping this kills. Well, we got a crit last time, so it probably won't. Why do you have to miss the Lapras twice? I don't like this game. You better get flinched. He didn't get flinched. Santa Conda will live! Okay, it lived. We need, a not, we need him to not wake up. Oh, that's good if he doesn't wake up. He wakes up, my god! Dodge is too stupid! 
At least it's gonna die. Now, if I didn't have Trick Room here, I'd be able to protect and maybe kill the Conkle there by protecting. Eh, maybe not. But we're just gonna lose to the Incineroar. I needed to not have that thing wake up. Look how much health Incineroar has. I think I just kill it, but I just die to an Ice Punch. Which, what's more likely to kill me, Ice Punch or Incineroar? Flare Blitz kills me for sure. See, if I had Protect here, ooh. I, I don't have a spread move, but if I had Sludge Wave too, I could have killed them both. It's like a damned if I do, damned if I don't. Let's, let's, let's take this. Flare Blitz definitely kills me, so I think we have to go for Incineroar and hope Ice Punch doesn't kill me. I feel like if I just didn't get a, a, unlucky there, I think I would have won. Don't kill me, Ice Punch. It didn't kill Sandaconda, so maybe it won't kill this. But Gengar is weak. Live, 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 live. <gasps> oh my god, we lived. So if he protects, he dies to Sand. Yes. We clutch it out. Priority doesn't matter, because I'm a ghost. I killed the right one. Yes, we did it. We did it. The Sandaconda? What is the game? Oh my goodness. That's how you beat a Lapras team with Sandaconda. Sandaconda beats Lapras. We can clickbait the title right there. Whew. Great video. Great video. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Steven, thank you for me using your team. Um, pretty fun team, of course. I really like uh, Electrify. Um, yeah, it's got some cool Pokemon. I think Gengar is actually could be a really good Pokemon to bring in the back that people don't ever bring. Obviously there, it played a really good role in the late game. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to submit your team, and we are out.